Hello, uh, let's see how can we create a rain system in 3ds Max by using its native uh, particle flow system. All right. So here I have um, two geometries, which is a ground plane and our hero object. In this case, it's a eagle figure. All right. And I'm using some deflectors and forces as well to affect uh, our particle system. So. Uh, here we have um, a simple deflector which is used to mostly uh, to uh, plane surfaces all right and the u deflector which is universal deflector which is used for more complex shapes in our case it's a uh, eagle figure all right the gravity force and drag force which is self self explanatory all right and uh, also, uh, the wind force, uh, which we'll use mostly um, uh, as a turbulence, not for its strings, okay? Not, not as a force, but more as a turbulence. So, uh, let's see our system, how it works. It's not very complicated. Uh, so, uh, we're starting by creating uh, our particle system, okay, in the first event. <coughs> Um, so here we're creating our particles, uh, the time limit and the amount of particles. All right, uh, we use our emitter as a position, and we're adding some forces like gravity and drag. No uh, speed uh, uh, attributes is being applied to our particles. Only gravity and drag. All right, and we would like to display those following particles as the lines. Um, here we're using some collision events to create some more effects to our uh, rain system. Okay, so um, in the first event we're using a simple deflector, which is collision with the ground. All right, uh, and the second uh, collision event is the uh, uh, collision with our hero geometry uh, where we're using the U deflector uh, to uh, create uh, again some uh, some other effects all right so uh, let's see our first uh, collision event with the ground so here we have uh, uh, creating our next event, which uh, which we're using the, the spawn uh, node to create some splashes. Okay, I'm you. I'm, I'm creating a certain amount of uh, uh, spawning particles and uh, adding some divergence and variation to uh, spawn, this spawning event. Okay, then uh, um, then I'm adding some forces. All right and another collision event to send them to the next event where I'm also uh, creating, um, spawning some more, uh, some, some less particle this time and uh, adding some divergence, all right? So we're creating more splashes, adding some forces uh, uh, as well to this event. Uh, so we would like our particles to gradually uh, come down, all right? And again, adding some speed with some divergence, we are using uh, another collision event, which uh, eventually will send our particles, all right? Um, eventually, we'll send our particles to, uh, to the last event where we stop our particles and delete them, all right? Um, so let's have a look uh, on the second collision event, which is a um, collision with our hero object, okay? Where we're sending our particles to the next event, which has some more uh, spawning um, 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 events being created, okay? And those particles that are not collided with the hero object uh, will use the uh, it, it means that will that they will eventually collide with the ground where we are sending them to the to some um, splash events okay where we are creating some 
uh, little splashes and finally by using another collision event we will send our particles to the uh, to the final event where we stop them and delete all right let's review our first spawn um, event so uh, here we are spawning um, only one particles we would like our particles to slide onto the surface of our hero object all right and uh, we are not deleting uh, the parent uh, of the particle because we would like to use it in the rest of the uh, events in this uh, in this major uh, event so here we are sending our first particles to the next event where we uh, adding some uh, forces like um, gravity and a drag okay uh, and some wind to distract our particles so it, like uh, uh, have some noise to it and uh, to stick our particles onto the surface we're using a lock bond to surface so we are selecting our surface and uh, checking the lock to surface and restrict to surface uh, uh, parameters okay with some speed limit uh, and variation of force this way we are having our particles being uh, slide onto onto uh, the surface all right and since we're using our uh, drag to slow down particles uh, we want to uh, affect those particles that are um, slow enough so uh, we're sending those particles again to a collision with the uh, with the ground and uh, adding some forces and those particles that remain in, in this event they will eventually be deleted but those who are have some collision with the deflector will be sent to our um, ground uh, collision system all right and eventually it will have a loop and finally be sent to our last event all right and as you see these uh, red dots are uh, our particles that being slide all right and also we're using uh, spawn by treble all right uh, that will create those uh, trails okay we're using by travel distance again some diversions uh, to give some variation to our particles and last we'll delete by age with some randomness so we have some uh, uh, randomness to our particle system all right so the second event is the second spawn uh, uh, event which uh, it, which is uh, which is after colliding with the, with the uh, hero object is the same as the first one but uh, in this case we are spawning three particles all right with some divergence and variation to it and this by uh, th this way we are creating uh, some more uh, uh, trails and we have uh, be we, we have added some more variations variation to our ranges all right so the third one is uh, uh, the third spawn we were creating uh, some uh, bigger drops all right again we are spawning some particles and um, this way yeah we're we're creating uh, some bigger uh, water drops all right and then we're sending them again to the uh, to to collision with the ground all right and the last spawn uh, we are we're creating to we, we, we're creating this spawn and we have some more particles just to create smaller splashes to our uh, uh, rain system okay so this way we have uh, created um, the four types of uh, of our um, uh, let's say raindrops the first one is what the first one is the 
uh, dripping particles uh, the second one the dripping was very variation and the third one is the bigger drops and the fourth is the smaller drops okay the particles who uh, are not collided with the with the hero objects or that are uh, that are uh, finally passed through this uh, event they will uh, collect with the ground and will be sent to the last event so as you see it's not very complicated and uh, uh, quite easy to set up and uh, by using um, the this event system we can uh, uh, get further to uh, add some more details to our system well, uh, there will be more uh, lessons on 3ds Max and uh, standard particle flow, but also we'll be using uh, Tide Flow as well, uh, which I think uh, it's very, very, very interesting and probably need to know how uh, we can create a certain effects in different softwares. All right. So, uh, well, that's all that I'd like to say. Uh, I hope you liked the lesson. Uh, if you find it useful, please subscribe and I see you in the future lessons. Goodbye and good luck.